Welcome back to my online tutorial. Today I'm going to discuss you about easy and effective tools for online lecturing. So in this particular presentation, I am concentrating on creating videos by screen recording by using screen castomatic and PowerPoint. Before going to demonstrate the, the, these two tools, let me give a brief introduction about Screencast-O-Matic. screencast o -Matic, it is used for creating videos by screen recording. And it's very easy to use and easily accessible. You can record anything within recording frame webcam and can be used and it can detect audio source maximum time can be recorded by using screen opacity is 15 minutes so you want to record more so you have to upgrade it and it is paid and i always recommend you to make a short lectures 15 minutes lectures which will be more effective and audibility of the lecture is very good you can quickly launch screen recorder from chrome chrome I recommend you to use chrome and after saving your video you can upload it to youtube and share with students next one powerpoint screen recorder it's very easy to use advantage of using PowerPoint screen recorder. You can record screen record your lecture even without using internet. And it is very simple. I will show you at the end of presentation. And you have only very small window which is available from insert button. You can see a screen recorder window like this. First, you search screen customatic and it will direct you to the home page of screen customatic. Then you, you can directly start recording for free. Then click on launch free recorder, it will load. And you can see launching recorder. Initially, it will download launch recorder. Then open screen recorder launcher. Click on that. Now, recorder is launched. So you get a, uh, a window like this. In this window, you can record your screen as such or only webcam. You can do it and both can be done. So if you want to, that depends on your lecture. If you want to record only screen, click on that. And if you want to record webcam only, Right, click on that. Want to use both? You can click here. Next time, uh, maximum time for recorder is 15. Always, it is better for effective lecturing. And if you want to more time, you have to subscribe it or upgrade it. That will be paid. Next one, uh, the size size of recording portion. That depends. That depends on you. What is your requirement? So you can use 480. This is the size. And it will record only this portion. Then you can use 720. That is always you can adjust actually this one. 
uh, you can adjust it to it is like this you can adjust next one active window and the full screen you can record it so when I use PowerPoint presentation I used to uh, select the 720 next one narration I use real tech high definition microphone so you can select what uh, whatever way stereo mixer or default microphone and Here uh, you can see a recorder preferences turn uh, you can keep it as such okay and there is an settings here that is this window record window and when your presentation is ready or PowerPoint if you are delivering lecture by using PowerPoint you can open it that PowerPoint then uh, I am using this presentation then press record button then it will start to record so you open your PowerPoint and first take in a slide view and fit this window here like this after checking the window you click on record button count on will start then you can select you can explain your reaction that is uh, I want to take class on manage reaction manage reaction is an analyzable carbonyl react with a mixture of aldehyde and amine in the presence of catalytic amount of HCl it form amino ketone and this is the general scheme amine with formaldehyde and ketone the presence of acid it give amino ketone so you get a cursor here yellow cursor and you can use animation and you can use you can go to the next slide then like this so give problem write the mechanism of the reaction so after your record you just click here or in between you can pause for recording like this and you can play it here preview what you have recorded if some problem you can delete it again after pausing you can record continue recording where you left off click on that then finally after finishing your recording click turn button so it will ask what is next save or upload and quick share you can do and edit video is not possible for the free version and click here save video it will direct you a new window here you can see you can play the thing that you have recorded and also you can adjust your recording you can cut first few minutes few seconds and last few seconds here and in at the right button you can see here many options to save your file you can save as a video file you can upload to screencast-o-matic and one advantage of screencast o -matic, even without login, you can uh, use this uh, screencast o -matic for recording. But you can also sign in 
and after sign in you can upload it to creating account you can upload your video into screencast dramatic account and you can upload it to the to youtube and in other options other vimeo and google drive and dropbox and editing is not possible so i am going to save this video save video file and you type your name so manage reaction that is my topic so it will come here folder you can select desktop or browse if you want so i am saving in desktop then press publish button now it is publishing video publishing to video file click done So here you can see in desktop that file has been saved. Now I am going to play that recorded video. Reaction is an analyzable carbonyl. React with a mixture of aldehyde and amine in the presence of catalytic amount of HCl to form amino ketone. And this is the general scheme you can see that it has very good quality and very good video audio clarity is very good so next we will see how to do screen recording by using powerpoint so you have to open powerpoint of course then go to home or oh, sorry insert then here you can see screen recording option Click on that. So you get a dialog box like this. You have already my system has an audio, so it will be highlighted, record pointer, and then you have to select the area. Where do you want to record? So you can fully record if you want. You select the area. Suppose you want to record a PowerPoint. Open a PowerPoint. Then you, you can record this area. After that opening PowerPoint, uh, you can start recording. Just click on start recording. It will count down, then start it to record. So today I'm giving delivering a topic to my students, manage reaction. I want to explain my students about manage reaction. So you can record it like this. Manage reaction is an analyzable carbonyl react with mixture of aldehyde and mine in the presence of catalytic amount of HCl to form amino ketone. So the, this one is a general scheme of the reaction and you can go to the next slide like this, like this. Next slide you can go. Then if you want to post your recording, you can post here, click on post, then it post. Then again, so suppose you want to rest it, you can use this icon. Then again, you put record, it started record. I have given a two problem. So students, you have to give the mechanism of this reaction. Then after you 
finish your recording, you can stop this recording. I have stopped. Now, the file has been saved here. And you can play this. There is an audio file here. And you can play it. And always better to make 5 to 10 minutes video out of this. One problem with using PowerPoint is it uh, actually take a lot of time to save it. But one advantage is uh, it has a good quality of video and you get a very clear images and you get uh, a very good audio also audible. Uh, that is the one main advantage. And after finishing, you can create as a video, go to file and export as a video and create a video. And uh, here, click on that. Then you can save it and put save. So it started to save. Actually, it take some time. So now I'm playing. Manage reaction is an analyzable carbonyl react with a mixture of aldehyde and amine in the presence of Next, if you want to introduce uh, any website or any study material from the internet you can do it so i am started to record that by using powerpoint now uh, and clicking record now so it will uh, record all part of my screen and this is a site and which contain uh, many video tutorials and video tutorials are embedded in here and video tutorial i can click on this video tutorial and play it then explain them so that is the advantage this screen recording have. It whole screen it is capturing. So now I am stopping my recording here. So let me conclude this lecture. After screen recording your presentation or your study material, you uh, the file size will be very high. So it, it is better you upload it to youtube then share uh, during uploading you can unlist it if you don't want to see others or don't make it public or you can make it private so after uploading to youtube you can share in a different platform like a google classroom with your students that's all thank you for watching